Have you ever feel like you are not smart enough? And times when you feel like you've never ever gonna get a job in tech, when you even get the job, you feel like you're such a fraud. Guess what? You might be suffering from this thing called imposter syndrome. Here are my top tips that I am going to share with you guys to deal with imposter syndrome. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Vicky and I am a software engineer and I love to mentor and help people who are getting into tech or building their career in tech. So, imposter syndrome is a psychological pattern that um, individuals starting to doubt their skills and scared of being exposed to being a fraud. That's what imposter syndrome is. So now you might be wondering, why is it so common? Well, here is the thing. Programming is so broad, there's so many knowledge, it's endless and it's absolutely impossible to be experts at all the things. And once you remember that and once you remember why is it so common to suffer from imposter syndrome, you're gonna feel better because everyone has imposter syndrome. It's not just you. So tip number one is you got to know your costs. What that means is you need to know about your energy and where letting you doubting yourself. It's important to know where you feel your imposter syndrome and you need to understand why that is causing you to feel this way. So for me, I felt technically incompetent when I joined the company as a new software engineer. And also when I was in school, I felt like I wasn't the smartest kid in school and I felt like I wasn't smart enough to code fast or figure things out faster or even know how to build a feature in my application. Notice how that makes you feel and notice why that's causing it. Knowing the cause of imposter syndrome is step number one to be able to actually battle it you know you always wanted to know your enemy before you can actually defeat it right so make sure that you know your costs and you are already halfway there I've been so obsessed with the comic book and also the show the voice and I've been watching a lot of them lately and also reading the comic books I just want to give you guys like a really really cute example right like let's talk about soups Think about how every superhero has their superpower and in different ways. And it's really hard for you as someone having a superpower of electricity to compare yourself with someone who is a superhero of flying or be super fast with the speed. So either way, I want you to understand that everybody has a different expertise. Everyone's path to where they want it to be is very different. You cannot compare yourself with them because everyone is at a different point in their own path. You know, so you need to only be comparing yourself with yourself. Tip number two is to use your fear. What that means is by use it as your benefit, like see it as a way for you to actually master that particular skill. In the beginning of last year, for me, it was CSS. I was not comfortable with writing a lot of higher levels of CSS and I was definitely don't feel like I was in control on that. And because of it, I feel imposter. Because of that, I compare myself with other people who are really good with CSS. Therefore, I'm gonna take a lot more time and effort to try to learn that skill because I'm gonna use it to my advantage. Tip number three is to slay your dragon. <laughs> what that means is, I remember that I was reading this book called Do the Work. The author mentions that the fear and resistance is actually your own dragon. What that means is something that is troublesome and challenging. Instead of run away from it, embrace it. Like embrace your dragon, slay it. You know, like find a way to conquer that dragon. And once you conquer that, that might actually be your strength. Tip number four is try not to compare yourself 
And if I know it's super hard because we all compare ourselves, it's like natural to compare ourselves with someone else. Like we are in a community, we live in a society, we compare with other people. If that does happen, um, try to identify your strength. You know, try to balance out that imposture inside you. You know, you might not be the best cook. You feel imposture whenever you are around someone who's really, really, really good at cooking. And what you're gonna do is not try to feel imposture about that, but it's actually trying to balance out your thoughts around your strength. So try to remember your strength and balance your imposture feelings with that feelings of confidence in you using that strength to make you feel confident and try to balance that off of that imposture feeling what is the bottom line here like what am i trying to say of this entire video the bottom line is it's okay to have imposter syndrome. As I said, it's, it happens all the time. It's always happening in tech because tech is just so broad. Like there's so much knowledge and you just never can expertise in everything. Don't let that cripple you from taking the challenges. Like don't let that to be the reasons to scare you off of trying new things, of taking the challenge of improving because every time when you had the challenges, actually going to learn and grow and study and train and be better and slay that dragon if you are enjoying this content definitely give me a thumbs up share this video with someone and and you are not done yet um, before you signing off uh, make sure that you check out the video right here yeah, right here and as we know that coaching with Vicky which is a Q&A section that I host on YouTube every month and um, so make sure that you are submitting your question through my Instagram uh, make sure that you are following me on Instagram and make sure that you pop in during the weekends because I host weekly Q&A every weekend until next time I'll talk to you soon hey bye <laughs>